Welcome to This Week in Poker, your source for the latest happenings in poker news. I'm Christy Arnett. It's been an incredibly exciting week as the 40th annual World Series of Poker has gotten underway. We've got one bracelet winner so far, and it's the winner of event number one, the Casino Employees event. Andrew Cohen defeated 866 players to win $84,000 and his first WSOP bracelet. Event number two is a $40,000 buy-in No Limit Hold'em event, and it enters day three today. A total of 201 players pointed out the biggest buy-in for a No Limit Hold'em event in WSOP history to create a prize pool of nearly $7.7 .7 million. They are playing down to a final table today. The chip leader going into today is Justin Bonomo. We caught up with him after play ended last night. Here's a little bit of what he had to say. Yeah, I mean, I, I think, you know, I'm capable of making big bluffs, and because of that, they think I'm aggressive on mm -hmm. every single street. People tend to rem remember the big bluffs rather than... First. Yeah, well, it's, it's that too, but they also, they see these big bluffs, and they think that means how I play in small pots, that means, you know, that I'm going to 3-bet more than call, but, you know, I really, you know, I'm... Position's really important, especially when you're this deep stacked. So, mm -hmm. you know, those things are more important to me than just, you know, always being the aggressive player. To view the entire interview, check out the Tournament Trail channel. Also still competing in the tournament, who's up there in the chip counts, is Greg Raymer and Lex Valdwey, who we also talked to. Here's a little bit of what he had to say. So right so, now, how do you how do you feel with your stack and, and the the blinds right now? Um, well, I have uh, like 125 big blinds or something. Mm -hmm. um, I feel really good, but uh, my table is ridiculous. <laughs> I saw I saw you got Phil Ivey and Namli, at least they're to your right. Yeah, at least like Namli is, is really tight, so he's yeah. going to leave my blinds alone. But like every time I'm a big blind, Ivey's on the button. <laughs> like, yeah, okay. you mentioned him before, you're like, oh, except for maybe Phil Ivey, and then yeah, he's, he, he's at your table. He's one of the, one of the players that, that, that really impressed me uh, when I played him live. Mm -hmm. um, there's a couple like I think Ivy's really. It's, it sounds kind of standard, but um, it's um, uh, Ivy Antonius. They do things somehow. They always know what you don't want them to do, and they do <laughs> it. It's really crazy. You can really tell that they're by far the best. The 40k buy-in event will reach a final table today. Yesterday, the $1,500 buy-in Omaha Eight or Better event began. Out of 918 players, only 197 took their seat today for day two. Notable still alive include Elia Lezra. Phil Hellmuth, Andy Duke, Lee Watkinson, Todd Brunson, and Brandon Cantu. 90 players are getting paid, and the first place player is going to receive just over $263,000. The only event beginning today is the $1,000 buy-in event, dubbed the Stimulus Event, and in three days, the event sold out, becoming the largest non-main event tournament in WSOP history. Day 1A began today at noon as 3,000 players took their seats. Jack Binion, the man who was largely responsible for the growth and popularity of poker's greatest celebration during the first three decades, was given the microphone to announce Shuffle Up and Deal. For those who are shut out of this event, the next most comparable tournament is event number 7, a $1,500 buy-in, no limit tournament, which begins on Thursday. Poker players are known for having gamble in them, so it's no surprise that a few of them are hooking up in some World Series of Poker bets. As written on Twitter, Andy Block laid Phil Ivey 5-2 odds on a bracelet, World Series of Poker Europe not included. Dan Negreanu has secured big, with big in capital letters, bets on himself and Eric Lindgren versus Barry Greenstein and Chris Ferguson, as well as Greenstein and John Jawanda. Needless to say, he's hoping that the Robin Hood of Poker has a bad World Series. According to Justin Smith, Negreanu also has a $20,000 bet that Negreanu and Lindgren will accumulate more WSOP Player of the Year points than Smith and Mike Matisau. Thanks for tuning in to This Week in Poker. Don't forget that the Card Player Reporting Team is covering all the marquee events at the World Series of Poker. You can find live coverage under the Tournament tab on the homepage. I'm Christiana for Card Player TV.